Well, some gas station owners are growing concerned over a proposed bill that would repeal the state of Minnesota's minimum gas price markup. Legislators proposing this bill hope it will reduce the cost of gas across the state. But some local gas station owners fear it may pose a danger to their business. For more on the story, here's Justin Otho. Inflation and the rise of gas prices are an issue that have been on the minds of both the general public and state legislature, with government officials currently looking for ways to lower gas prices. One proposed solution comes in the form of a bill that would seek to repeal Minnesota's minimum gas markup. Current Minnesota law requires gas retailers charge an eight cent markup per gallon of gas, and this is called a minimum markup. Selling below this eight cent markup is against the law and could subject the gas owner to civil and criminal penalties. The gas markup was first implemented in an attempt to reduce predatory pricing efforts, which put small businesses at risk. By establishing that baseline, the big boxes and the big chains couldn't come in and drive all the local small businesses out of business. Minimum markup laws on gas may have been enacted with the best of intentions in mind, but they do not protect consumers and they do not protect the number of small gas stations in a state. Local gas station owners worry the repeal of the minimum markup will lead to more drastic price competition against larger companies. And in the end, what you're going to see is the options for buying your fuel will diminish. It's going to drive them out of the marketplace. During the bill's initial presentation, senators in the Senate Committee on Commerce and Consumer Protection heard a number of testimonies both for and against the bill before the bill was laid over for further consideration among the Senate. The intention is to lay this bill over. Senator Rasmussen was kind enough to bring it to the attention of the committee. I think in a time of high gas prices, it's certainly worthy of consideration. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. Currently, no addendums have been made to the proposed bill, and it has yet to be brought before the Senate floor to seek approval. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.